Allah Jalla Jalaluhu says, and undoubtedly Ilyas is among the apostles when he said to his people, Do you not fear? Do you worship Bal and leave the best creator? Allah who is your Lord and the Lord of your forefathers. Then they belied him, so necessarily they will come arrested. But the chosen devotees of Allah, we left his good name in later generation. Surah Safat Verses 123-129 Hazrat Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu says that he was favorably mentioned in this way. Salutation be upon Ilyas. Undoubtedly, thus we recompense the righteous. Verily, he is among our most dignified, fully believing devotees. It is reported from Hazrat Ibn Masood and Hazrat Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu that Ilyas is in fact the name of Hazrat Idris alayhi salam. Allah Jalla Jalaluhu says, and we raised him up to our lofty building. There is a report about him from Abdan, Abdullah, Yunus, Zuhri, Hazrat Anas radiallahu anhu reports that Hazrat Abu Zar radiallahu anhu would narrate that Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, When I was in Makkah, the roof of my house was cleft. Hazrat Gabriel alayhi salam descended and he cleft my chest, washed it with zamzam water, then brought a gold basin full of wisdom and faith, and after emptying it into my chest, he stitched it up. Then he held my hand and started ascending to the sky. When I reached the lowest heaven, Gabriel asked the guardian of the heaven to open it. He asked, Who are you? He said, I am Gabriel. He asked, Is anyone else with you? He replied, Muhammad wasallam is with me. He asked, Has he been sent for? He replied, Yes. So the door was opened. We went up in the lowest heaven to see a man sitting there with a lot many people on his right and left side. When he looked to his right, he laughed. And when he looked to his left, he wept. Then he said, Welcome to the pious prophet and pious son. I asked Gabriel who he was. He said, He is Adam alayhi salam. And the people on his right and left sides are the souls of his descendants. Those who are on his right are the inhabitants of paradise and those who are on his left are the inhabitants of hell. So when he alayhi salam looked to his right, he alayhi salam loved and when he alayhi salam looked to his left, he alayhi salam wept. He thereafter took me up till we reached the second heaven and he asked its custodian to open it. So its custodian said to him the same what the former custodian said till the door was opened. Hazrat Anas radiallahu anhu narrates, Then Hazrat Abu Zar told me, On other heavens he met Hazrat Idris, Hazrat Moses, Hazrat Jesus and Ibrahim alayhi salam. But I did not remember their dwellings except that he mentioned that he met Hazrat Adam alayhi salam in the lowest heaven and Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam in the sixth heaven. Hazrat Anas narrates, when Hazrat Gabriel taking the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam along with him passed by Hazrat Idris alaihi salam, he said, "Welcome to the pious Prophet and the pious brother." I, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, inquired, "Who is he?" He replied, "He is Hazrat Idris alaihi salam." Thereafter, I passed by Hazrat Moses alaihi salam, and he said, "Welcome to the pious Prophet and pious brother." I asked, "Who is he?" He replied. He is Hazrat Moses alayhi salam. Then I passed by Hazrat Jesus alayhi salam. He said, Welcome to the pious prophet and the pious brother. I asked, Who is he? He replied, He is Hazrat Jesus alayhi salam. Afterwards, I passed by Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. He said, Welcome to the pious prophet and the pious son. I asked, Who is he? He replied, He is Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ibn Shihab narrates that Ibn Hazm had informed him that Hazrat Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu and Abu Habba Ansari said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, He took me up till I saw an extremely smooth ground where I heard the scrape of the pen. Ibn Hazm and Hazrat Anas bin Malik said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah jalla jalaluhu then made 50 prayers obligatory for me. I returned with the command and when I passed by Hazrat Moses alayhi salam, he asked, What Allah has made obligatory for your ummah? I replied, Fifty prayers have been prescribed for them. He said, Go back to your Lord, for your followers are not capable of it. 
I returned and a part of it was exempted. I returned to Hazrat Moses alayhi salam and he alayhi salam said, Go back to your Lord. Then he narrated all what happened before and another part was remitted. I then returned to Hazrat Moses alayhi salam and notified him. Whereupon he alayhi salam said, Again return to your Lord for your ummah is not capable of it. I went back to my Lord till he jalla jalalahu said, There are five prayers which are in fact fifty. For Allah jalla jalalahu says, and word never changes with me. Then I returned to Hazrat Moses alayhi salam and he alayhi salam said, Go back to your Lord. I said, Now I feel shy of going back to my Lord. Then Gabriel alayhi salam took me up to Sidratul Muntaha, the lot tree of the boundary, which was shrouded in such colors as I don't know what they are. Thereafter, I was taken into paradise where the peoples were of pearls and soil was of must. Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 3342.